అందరికీ నమస్కారములు సర్వేభ్యో నమో నమ ఈరోజు టుడే ఈస్ ద ఫోర్త్ డే ఆఫ్ అవర్ క్లాసెస్ ఆన్ షోడశ సంస్కారములు వి విల్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెషన్ విత్ మందే మాతరం అండ్ దెన్ ప్రార్థన చలా చిటిబాబు గారు వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుజలా సుఫల మలయజ శీతల శ్యామల మాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజ్యోష్ణాపులకితయామిని పుల్లకుసుమితృమదళశోభిని సుహాసిని సుమధురభాషిణి సుఖదాం వరదా మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం now let us uh, request uh satvika satvika uh chant prarthana please sarvebhyo namaskarah <coughs> first let us do meditation for a minute now let us chant omkara three times om గణపతి గంభవామహే కవి కవీనాముపమస్రవస్తమ జ్యేష్ఠరాజం బ్రహ్మణ బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆన శృన్వన్నోధి విస్సీద సాధనం ఓం శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపతయే నమ ఓం ప్రణోదేవి సరస్వతి వాజేభిర్వాజినీవతి ధీనామ విత్రయవతు ఓం శ్రీ మహాసరస్వత్యై నమ గురుర్వ గతి గురు మేవ భజే గురునైవ సహాస్మి నమో గురవే న గురో పరమం శిశురస్మి గురో మతిరస్మి గురౌ మాం పాహి గురౌ జ్ఞానానందమయం దేవం నిర్మళ స్ఫటికాకృతి ఆధారం సర్వ విద్యాగ్రీవముపాస్మహే శృతి స్మృతి పురాణ ఆలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాద శంకరం లోక శంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేసవం బాదరాయణం సూత్ర భాష్యకృత వందే భగవంతౌ పునః పునః ఈశ్వరౌ గురురాత్మేతి మూర్తి భేద విభాగినే వ్యోమ వక్ప్యాప్త దేహాయ దక్షిణామూర్తయే నమ అసతో మా సద్గమయ తమసో మా 
Jyotirgamaya Mrityorma Amrutangamaya Om Shanti 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 Matru Devo Bhava Pitru Devo Bhava Acharya Devo Bhava Atithi Devo Bhava Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Ubhunaktu Sahavirya Karavavahai Tejasvina Vadhita Mastu Mavid Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Okay, Dhaniya Vadamulu Now let us request Dr. So much thank you, Allah. Bisala Shivaru. To continue the webinar, please. Om Sri Mahaganathi Pataye Namaha. Om Sri Parvati Raja Rajes Parapyam Namaha. Om Sri Metha Dakshina Murtaye Namaha. Om Sri Maha Saraswatye Namaha. Om Sivaya Gurave Namaha. Om Namas Sivaya Icha Namas Sivaya. Om Namas Sivaya. Now, in our short as a samskaras, now. It is the 11th samskara, Upanayana samskara, which is very important samskara. So let us pray Gayatri Mata and then start our some, uh, narration, explanation of this Upanayana samskara. Mukta vidrama hema nila thavala chayai mukhaihi tri kshanaihi chayai mukhai stri kshanaihi Yuktam indu nibatha ratnam akutam tatvartha varnatmikam Gayatrim varada phayankusha kasha Shukram kapalam gadam Shankham chakramathara vinda yugalam Hastair vahantim phaje Yo devaha savita smakam thiyo dharmadi gocharaka Prera yet bharga yet tasya Tadvarenyam upasmahe Sarva Chaitanya Rupam Tam Ajam Vijam Chadhi Mahi Buddhim Yana Prechodaya Atu. These two, the first sloka is Stotra of Gayatri Mata. Then the other two, Yodayava Savitasmakam and then Sarva Chaitanya Rupam. These two are also Gayatri Mantras, which are as powerful as that of the Original that Tripada Gayatri of Chetru Vimse Chakshara. But that Gayatri should be initiated by the uh, Guru, by Acharya, by the father to the Vatu, to the Sishya. But these two, uh, though the Upadesha is not there, Yodeva Savitasmakam and then Sarva Chaitanya Rupamtam with these two Gayatri mantras. Each and everyone, even women, even small children, can recite and pray and get the power and benefit of reciting, doing japa of that Tripada Chetruvim Sachakshara Gayatri. So unless Upadesha is given to us, we should never uh, do japa of that Gayatri. But these Purana Gayatri slokas, that is mantra, these are slokas. Even then, these slokas are very powerful and having the same meaning of that Gayatri. So, all others, those who got initiated into that and given Upadesha only, should recite that mantra. Whereas, everyone can recite and do japa of these slokas. So, our Maharshis gave us uh, so many uh, facilities, in fact, to each and every individual to get the good, correct knowledge and get liberation if they are sincere in their efforts. So of all the rites and rituals, the sacraments, uh, that is samskaras, uh, we are given uh, by our Maharshis. This uh, Upanayana samskara is the most important and best samskara for those who are born in Brahmin caste with Purusha Upadhi, that is to the boys. It is called as Upanayanam. We already knew what is samskara, so we need not have to tell. 
uh, by observing these samskaras, the existing dirt, the impurities are to be removed of the body, of the mind and of the uh, jiva also will be removed and virtues will come, luster, glory, virtues, good behavior occurs to us. So that is, we will develop virtues, divine qualities, sutta sattvika gunas. So every day we take bath. Uh, that is also samskara, but that is to our body. By this, only the dirt of the body would be uh, removed. Then we apply sandal paste or powder or something, gandham, telakamandal. They enhance the beauty of the body. So uh, that is the beauty which is already originally there that would be increased a little by this. Similarly, by observing all these shodas as samskaras, before birth, after birth, and after leaving the body, all these, then not only the impurities of the body would be removed, but the impurities of jiva. Uh, would also be purified completely. So, and all sadgunas, that is virtues, then sattvika gunas, luster, knowledge, wisdom, discriminative power, then sahana sekti and also vairagya, jnana and vairagya, all these will come to us to make us eligible to get moksha. So, these samskaras are very important and each and we are all following but knowingly, Jnatva Karmani Kurvita. We must know what we are doing, what is the purpose of doing, what benefits we are going to get by observing all these uh, samskaras. Knowingly, we must do. So, without proper knowledge, some people think that this Upanayana samskara is to be done just before the marriage because marriage is to be celebrated. But that is very wrong notion. Upanayana samskara brings eligibility to a person to get initiated into Veda Vidya, Mantra Vidya, that is Brahma Jnana. So one who purifies his body, mind and his jiva also would be beginning, uh, that is gaining, he would be gaining divine power spiritual power by daily doing this sancha vandana after this upanayana samskara is done. So by doing this uh, should be, and he becomes qualified to study Vedas under Acharya. So to observe Panchamaha Vratas, Panchamaha Yajnas, upanayana samskara is a must. Then Adishankara Bhagavad Pada Jagadguru, he I said, Jantu nam narajan madurla pamata kumstvam tato viprata tasmat vaidika marga vaidika tharma marga parata vidvatva masmat param atman atma vivechanam swanu pavo brahmatmana samstiti muktir no setakoti janma sukritai punyair vinal apyate. Unless a person does crores of uh, births of uh, punya. Merit, he can never get the upathi of human being, that too of a male body, they say. And being born in the Vipra family, a noble family of pandits, and also having interest, bent of mind, we say. So that sort of interest for righteous behavior, dharmika, uh, way of life, and gaining the knowledge of all lords, shastras, that is also very difficult, even though a person may be born in Brahmin family, but if his uh, qualities, virtues and behavior, behavior is not of a Brahmin, then it is of waste. So all this should be there and all would come only with Satakoti Janma Sukruta, Sukruta, well done, Punya, merit. So ultimately, the final aim of having this human body is to attain moksha, brahma jnana, eternal happiness. That would be possible only by knowledge, highest knowledge, Veda Vijnana and Gupanishadi Jnana. That can be gained by after 
getting initiated into this Upanayana Samskara. So just as unless a person passes BA, he cannot enter into master degree. Similarly, this is the qualification. Unless Upanayana Samskara is done, uh, he cannot study Veda Mantras, Vedas under the guidance of Guru going to Gurkulas. So, out of 84 lakhs of living beings, only human beings have this opportunity to reform their body, mind and jiva and all their karmas, actions done uh, and get mukti. So, Jnana Devatu Kaivalyam, we said several times. So, we get liberation by Jnana and Jnana is acquired by Shastra Jnana, Veda Chena. That would be done by the teachings of Guru. So, Sravana, Manana and Nidhichasana are the steps. Then that would be possible by listening to the Sravana of the teachings of a Sadguru, Acharya. <clears throat> that Arhata would be gained by getting Upanayana Samskara. So, Upa means Samipa. Nayana, Ni, Naya. To lead, Nayati, we say. Taking, leading a person near to Acharya he is Upanayana Samskara. So, this is the qualification to uh, enter into Gurukula and study Vedas, Dharma Shastra, scriptures, and all. Veda Kilo Dharma Mulam. Vedas are the roots of all dharmas. The aim of life can be achieved by knowing and practicing dharma. And what is dharma? How to practice is given in Vedas and Dharma Shastras. So we must gain that Veda Vijnana, Vedic culture, and put them into practice. So now let us know the meaning of the word Upanayana. Uh, in fact, Upa Nayana, Ni nai, Upa is the Upasarga. Then the root Ni Naya Tuli Nayati Upasarga, uh, Upa Upasarga Purvaka Ni Thatu. From this, the word Upanayana is formed. So to take near means near to whom and be it? near to Acharya, near to Veda Vijnana, near to Brahma Jnana. So by Acharya, a Sadguru, uh, one can gain this Brahma Jnana. So because after doing Upanayana, parents take their children to Gurukula and hand over him to Guru. Then, then onwards, Guru becomes master, mother, father, master, Acharya, everyone. And he should be God for all disciples. And he preaches all Veda Vidyas. Then, Brahma Vidya ultimately. Laukika Vidyas also they teach. Paranda Para Bodha Vidyas. Then, he finally teaches Brahma Vidya, seeing the worthiness of the disciple. So, Upanayana means, Upa means near, Nayana means, Nayanam actually means I. Nayana, Nayanam means I, you know. Why Nayanam? Because all, we got five Karmendriyas and five Jnana Indriyas. All other Jnana Indriyas, we listen, we hear the sound, but it is not coming to us. We listen to that. Whereas, Ni Naya, with the eyes when we see any objects, the eye sees that object and brings that object near to us. So it is called as Nayana. So Nayana means far away subjects also uh, would be made to come near, come close to us. That is why we are able to see the moment the sight falls on that, that object uh, comes to us means physically it will not come, but the knowledge comes to us. So it is called as Bupanayanam. So that which makes far away objects near is Nayanam. And that which is near to us is Bupanayanam. Upa means Samipe. What is most near to us, it is always our own self. So in fact, we can call this as our own self. So Bupanayana is that samskara which makes us know what is we ourselves and what is that which is very close to us and near to us. So gaining 
ब्रह्मज्ञान विच इज दिनाज इट से अवर से अहम ब्रह्मास्मे सो गेनिंग दट ब्रह्मज्ञान जीवा वॉन्ट्स टू गेट लिबरेटेड द मोमेंट ही रिकग्नज दट ही हिमसेल्फ इज ब्रह्मन ब्रह्म विथ ब्रह्म देन ही बिकम्स ही इज ऑलरेडी ब्रह्मन The only thing is due to agnana, he is considering that the body, senses, pranas, everything, they are all he. But the moment he recognizes that he is not this body, body, mind, India, Indriya complex and all, then he recognizes he himself is Brahman. He becomes Brahman. That knowledge can be gained after getting this upanayana samskara and teachings of Guru. <clears throat> in the olden days upanayanam was being performed even to girls all boys and girls equally at the same age but we know uh, about many uh, brahma vadins brahma jignasins and brahma gnanis ladies rishikas uh, like gargi maitreyi pratitheyi lopa mudra so many people are there even mantra drashtas are there so uh, but due to so many other social reasons in due course of time that occurred to our bharata desha many changes took place and then uh, due to so many constraints and proper reasons people elders they decided that this upanayana samskara should be done only to boys and not girls in this kali yuga modern age in the olden days they used to do upanayana samskara to both girls and boys that is why so many at vedic age so many mantra drashtas brahma gnanis brahma vadins ladies also were there even now today also so many people are there who are uh, having such interest but we should follow shastra so this upanayana samskara is done for boys whereas gauri mantra upadesha would be given to girls so through upanayana and gayatri mantra japa boys uh, they get liberated through gauri mantra japa ladies get liberated and get moksha so by getting brahma padesha actually the parents give birth only to the body physical body manava upadhi whereas by getting brahma padesha uh that particular person becomes gnana swarupa the body itself turns into gnana the form of gnana so he is called as dvija twice born so when this upanayana samskara is done then onwards that boy becomes a dvija ja means to take birth dvi means to so by this he gets the uh vardhinis to do gayatri japa veda chena and so he does this gayatri mantra japa and this upanayana samskara is such a ritual which blooms the eye of knowledge gnana chikshu each and every human being possesses uh, gnana chikshu not only shiva ishvara got three eyes third eye is visible whereas for all human beings not for ordinary uh, animals birds and all but only for human beings the inner i exists the only thing is we must do such sadhana and get that gnana chikshu opened so that can be done by this gayatri mantra japa so this upanayana is the cause for that it is a sort of sadhana a stepping a step we can say so upanayana is performed unless uh, it is unless this upanayana samskara is done uh, the we the people they can never do shrauta karmas also shrauta karmas and smarta karmas are there so among all the samskaras upanayana is considered to be very uh, best and excellent one because by upanayana samskara shrauta karmas can be done smarta karmas can be done he can get uh, uh, education in gurukula through veda mantra achena he does brahma gnana he gets and gets moksha so janmana jayate vipraha samskarat dvija uchyate that is how they say 
so the boy would be enjoying his childhood till upanayana samskara is done performed after that the boy becomes a brahmachari brahmani charati iti brahmachari one who moves and wanders in the uh, contemplation of brahman in thinking meditating doing japa of that knowledge highest knowledge so he has to follow vigorous austerities niyama nishtas will be given to him uh, he has to get up that once this upanayana samskara is done then onwards the boy has to get up at brahmi muhurta do usnana andal then do sanchha vandana agni karya studying vedas then food restrictions aahara niyama samaya palana guru susrusha all these become very uh, inevitable and essential for him unless jata karma nama karana then chuda karma chaula samskara etc all these samskaras are done the nine which we have spoken till yesterday unless they are all done as per shastra shastra vidhi he uh, does not become eligible to get initiated into this brahma upadesha at upanayana samskara so even though uh, all these samskaras are being done to him by parents even then at the time of performing this upanayana samskara again the priest makes uh, this person undergo all these samskaras once again because some person may or may not be uh, may not have done perfectly as per shastra that may be the one reason and another reason is this boy when he is just born he what all samskaras are done to him he, he cannot know jata karma nama karana and all he may be knowing of the saksha vyasa and all so to make him aware of all the samskaras also at the time of upanayana all other previous samskaras are done to him jata karma nama karana chaula anna prasna yeah, all these so this gives excellent so uh, it is said in our apaskamba guhya sutras that upanayana samskara gives excellence to the noble human birth anupanitam prayaschitta dese what all we have did uh, that is the priest does before uh, this upanayana samskara they are anupanita prayaschitta prayaschitta is doing afterwards though they have done yet second time he is doing so apastam this uh, apastamba sutra say that sakhi vidya sakhi vidya tasam janayati tat shreshtam janma sharirame va mata pitaru janayata ha parents give birth only to the body but the real gnana sharira would be given by an acharya a guru and gnana to approach whom upanayanam is very essential to make the a person approach guru here and then brahman ultimately so many of us are performing this upanayana as a compulsory kratu to be done before the marriage but now onwards at least everyone should recognize the importance and significance of this upanayana samskara so uh, they are neither doing even though these uh, many people they do this uh, upanayana when the boy grows very big uh, about to get married and all so even from that time onwards suppose the boy does sancha vandana it's well and good but many people uh, modern days they are not doing even though sancha vandana uh, and gayatri mantra japa are compulsorily to be done those who a uh, god this upanayana samskara they are not following then what is the use of doing but nowadays presently many people are getting awareness so mostly they are all trying to do upanayana samskara to their sons at the age of either 9 8 years or 9 garbhashtami you know 7 years 8 years 9 years or at least below 11 years 10 they are doing and so because they are small children when parents 
and grandparents they force the child he automatically does when once he gets habituated to do this sanjha vandana regularly every day he does he performs he cannot be without doing so that sort of uh, habit should be developed okay now let us know uh, when and which time and how to perform this kratu it is not just samskara it is samskara and kratu also upanayana kratu means actually yajna karma this itself is an yajna so um, otherwise you know if time is there we can go very elaborately otherwise we will cut short and try to know and today we will complete this upanayana samskara many mantras are there shlokas are there according to the time we will see so in apastamba dharma sutra it is said garbhastameshu brahmana upanayita then garbha ekadaseshu rajanyam garbha dvadaseshu vaishyam so they have given the age at which is the upanayana is to be performed to which caste people when the jiva that is the living being enters into mother's womb counting from that time then onwards 8 years garbha ashtami ashtama 8 year that is 7 years 3 months time is proper time for a brahmin child to get done this upanayana samskara then that is called as garbha ashtami similarly doing at the 11 years age for uh, from entering into the mother's womb for kshatriyas similarly doing at 12th year after entering into mother's womb is uh, for vaishyas this ritual should be performed brahma varchasa kamasya karyam viprasya panchama varshe rajo balardinah shashte vaishyasya ihar dino ashtame iha means here in this world laukika so it is said in the scriptures that for brahmin boys who aspire to get brahminical luster for them the upanayana should be performed at fifth year at the age of 5 years for kshatriyas who aspire to acquire excessive strength vigor prowess then on 60 year it should be done then for vaishyas who want to become very proficient and eligible in this in their field business at the age of 8 years this upanayana should be done to them so if they want to get success on this earth this is the process now at what season at what time vasante brahmana upanayita grishme rajanyam sharade vaishyam after the entrance of uttarayana punya kala the upanayana samskara should be done to brahmin boys during vasanta kala so that is autumn season to kshatriyas during grishma kala that is summer season and to vaishyas during sharad kala autumn season Uh, vasanta ka sharad ritu uh, jagannatha so pujas will come october so at that time sharad kala is good time for them especially for brahmin boys performing gopanayana on vasanta panchami or on panchami tithi would be very auspicious because panchami tithi is the tithi uh, acceptable to saraswati mata favorable tithi to jagannatha saraswati gnanaati devata so for the vatu and his father for both of them the nakshatra bala should be there then only uh, and tara bala nakshatra bala means tara bala tara bala should be seen it is very essential the muhurta bala is more essential to upanayana than marriages for marriages we can see for both girl and boy the bride and bridegroom but for upanayana the tara bala should be there for vatu and then his father because father gives the mantra padesha apastamba sutra start with the sutra atha upanayanam vyakhya syamaka 
now we are completely speaking about the procedure of performing upanayana and how to hand him over this vatu to all the gods and guru they hand over to guru going to gurukula after performing at the time of upanayana the father hands over the responsibility of taking care of the boy to all the gurus first to agni deva and to so many guru so many devatas gods after completing this upanayana ceremony then he takes the boy to after doing upa karma to gurukula and hands over to guru then onwards guru's responsibility is to take care of all the vatus who come to him so if the father is desirous of the welfare of his son and wants to make him aishwaryavan wealthy very intelligent very bright good then he should perform upanayana at proper age now what is aishwarya aishwaryavan the mantra says so aishwarya is said in taitriya aranyakam that is veda said ruche samani yajugumshi sakhi sri ramruta satam aishwarya means not wealth not money not properties lands positions and all they are all laukika um, temporary aishwaryas which are based and useless only for worldly world wise uh, they are useful whereas actual aishwarya is ruks veda mantras veda mantras of all three vedas rigveda yajurveda and samaveda all the ruks all the kims specially of rigveda then yajurveda samaveda all yajus all samas they are the real property they are the real aishwarya so when children are very small they can easily learn by heart when they read a few times it comes to their mind people when grow then if they want to learn by heart it's not so easy to do kantasam we say kantastha that should stay in the kantha that is in the brain in the alochanas so that is the real prosperity and wealth in fact why because that is immortality that teaches how to get immortality and become immortal so that is the real wealth so that is the essence of gayatri mantra so that mantra is given to obtain that gayatri mantra the real aishwarya upanayana would be done through upanayana they are giving jnana and aishwarya also to the vatu satam sanmarga vartinam amruta anashta those who follow the vedokta marga they never get anishta that which is not wanted the unwanted thing so metha kama desires of jnana brahma jnana and sri kama desires of getting aishwarya wealth varalli glory both of them should study veda vidyas they have to study brahmacharyam dwadasha varshan eka vede brahmacharyam charet being a brahmachari following brahmacharya vrata the shishya should acquire veda gnana uh, for, for studying each veda it takes minimum 12 years so if a person wants to study only one veda to which shak veda he belongs for 12 years time is enough but for a person who is desirous of studying all four vedas he has to spend 48 years time at gurukula so in the olden days they used to perform this upanayana samskara for four days or five days but nowadays they are doing in one day but one full day is essential because it should at least be done for full one day because the upanayana samskara the priest makes the vatu perform agni karya so agni karya during day time and then sandhya vandana during evening time so after completing sandhya this upanayana samskara next day morning agni karya should be taught to the boy so full one day so the priest should come next day morning and be with the vatu and make him do agni karya and also 
the priest should teach the boy what to how to uh, do avposana we say at the time of eating giving panchakutis even that is very essential the mantras the boy has to learn so now let us know the most important points of upanayanam they are 33 points i am telling but we will deal only with a few because all of us are aware of all these all of you know how this procedure first one continuous i'll just read first one is shubha arambha shubha arambha starting the pious ritual second vigneswara stuti praying and worshiping god vinayaka sankalpa kalasa puja vigneswara shoda sopachara puja upanayana sankalpa jata karma namakaranaadi samskara to be performed then raksha bandhana swasya punyaha vachana then tenth one is mantapa aradhana pandir pandir puja we say in telugu so eleventh one is agni pratishthapana laukika agni pratishthapana we do here three types of fires are there ahavaniya garhapatya dakshina agni so from dakshina agni the fire is to be taken to ahavaniya and garhapatya so then prokshana samskaras vivitha homas ankura arpana nandi devata aakwana yagnopavita dharana nandi devata samaradhana kumara pojanam next vastra mekala ajinadi dharana then 29th is to hand over the vatu to gods for protection 21 is navagraha mangala aashirvachana 22nd is churnika sumuhurta to keep the mixture of jeera jagari paste on the head sahasrara vatu this is the most important one then brahma upadesha which is very important then gayatri mantra upadesha and gayatri mantra visishtata brahma upadesha is different gayatri mantra upadesha is different now 25th one is pala shadanda dharana then guru dakshina samarpana suryopasthanam and then 28th is the vows done by vatu to the master acharya then 29th piksha chara piksha charana that is matru piksha pitru piksha and piksha from all brahmin relatives for brahmin boy then brahmin kshatriyas for kshatriya brahmin kshatriyas and vaishyas for vaishya that is the rule of shastra now 30th uh, one is sancha vandana 31st point is agni karya 32 is metha janana 33 is sadasya or brahmana asirvachana by that it completes it comes to an end then after this uh, then of when this upanayana samskara is done and time passes when shravana masa comes that pournami on that pournami janchala pournami we say upa karma should be done and after doing upa karma the boy should be handed over to guru or the parents can take the their children vatus to guru and their guru can perform this upa karma done to the boy thus in this process the upanayana samskara should be done everyone should follow according to their veda either rigveda or yajurveda to whatever krishna yajurveda shukla yajurveda slight differences will be there though most of all these are common so we have to follow our customs and traditions so depending upon the veda to which a person belongs and also prantiya pedas may be there a little so according to prantiya pedas uh, they make this uh, small differences and they get the, this upanayana done to uh, their children the sons so all these are the points and in fact we should know about all these points very thoroughly those who do not know but mostly while doing normal uh, vivahas and other occasions also we do all these so we know them so after getting initiated into this uh, brahmacharya ashrama the moment upanayana samskara is done the person becomes the boy becomes a brahmachari means he has entered into brahmacharya ashrama 
ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಗೃಹಸ್ಥ ವಾನ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ ಅರ್ಥ ಫೋರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಶ್ರಮಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಸೊ ನವ್ ಆನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಫಾಲೋ ದ ನಿಯಮಸ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ಆಶ್ರಮ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ತ್ರಿಕಾಲ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ವಂದನ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಾಯತ್ರಿ ಮಂತ್ರ ಜಪ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗ್ನಿಕಾರ್ಯ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ತ್ರಿಕಾಲ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ವಂದನ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ನವೇ ಡೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಸರ್ಟನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಜಾಬ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ದೆನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾತ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಾಯಂ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ವಂದನಾ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎನಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎರ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೂರ್ಯೋದಯ ಸಮಯ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಟ್ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಅಸ್ತಮಯ ಸಮಯ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ ವಂದನ ದ ಪೌರ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪನಯನ ಆನ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ವಿಚ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಉಪನಯನ ವಿ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪಕರ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಟ್ ವೇದ ಅಟ್ ಗುರುಕುಲಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇದಾಚೇನ ಸೊ ಎಮಾಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೌ ದ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಹೋಮಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಘೋರ ಹೋಮ ಚಾಕ್ಷುಷಿ ಹೋಮ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಹೋಮಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ದೀಸ್ ವಟೂಸ್ ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದ ವಟೂ ಡೂ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಹೋಮಸ್ ದ ವಟೂ ಶುಡ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಅಗ್ನಿಹೋತ್ರ ಅಗ್ನಿ ದೇವ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಶ್ರೇಥಾಂ ಮೇಧಾಂ ಯಶ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾ ವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಶ್ರಿಯಂ ಬಲಂ ಆಯುಷ್ಯಂ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ತೇಜ ದೇಹಿ ಮೇ ಹವ್ಯವಾಹನ ಶ್ರಿಯಂ ದೇಹಿ ಮೇ ಹವ್ಯವಾಹನ ಓಂ ನಮ ಇತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೇ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ದ ವಟ್ ಯೂ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೇ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಯಾಗ ಚಂಡಿ ಯಾಗ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಗಣಪತಿ ಹೋಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿ ಪ್ರೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗ್ನಿಹೋತ್ರ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಶ್ರೇಥ ಮೇಥ ಯಶ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೇ ಅಗ್ನಿದೇವ ದ ಪ್ರೀ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಗಾರು ವಿ ಸೇ ಹಿ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಪಂಚಪಾಲಿಕಾ ಸ್ಪಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಮಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಯಜಮಾನಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಕಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಪೋರ್ ನವಧಾನ್ಯಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪಂಚಪಾಲಿಕಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಮಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಕಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಲಿಟಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಐದರ್ ಉಪನಯನ ಆರ್ ವಿವಾಹ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ವಿ ಕೀಪ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಲಿಕಾಸ್ ಪಂಚ ಪಾಲಿಕಾಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಕ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದ ನವಧಾನ್ಯಸ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಗ್ರೋ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಗ್ರೋ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ವಿ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಡೈನಾಸ್ಟಿ ಗ್ರೋಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ದ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಜನಿ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡೈನಾಸ್ಟಿ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪನಯನ ಸಂಸ್ಕಾರ immediately invite the muttai dulu as
the moment with mantras when we invite they come and sit there they witness the entire process and they bless the vatu parents and all vamsha uh, anuyayis and all so pitru devata anugraha is very essential to grow the dynasty with health wealth and all so we must show our gratitude and devotion towards our pitru devatas by the favor of pitru devatas the dynasty grows not only growing they get wisdom they get get luster health wealth longevity everything so at the time of upanayana and vivaha also we invite these pitru devatas as shobhana devatas nandi devatas we say nandi devata aradhana and worship them and get their blessings now the priest or the brahmagaru does pranayama take sankalpa to make what to wear yagnopavita keeps yagnopavita in a plate and asks what to to worship that which showed us of upacharas then the presiding deities of that uh, yagnopavita so many devatas navatantus are there navadevatas would be there they all are to be worshiped then the father takes that yagnopavita and asks elders to touch it and pray and do namaskara pray god and bless the vatu so that their power by the very touch of elders uh, what all till that time they are all doing sanjha vandana gayatri mantra japa and they have love and affection towards this vatu because maybe his grandson like that so with their uh, uh, affection in the heart and the mantra japa they are doing the moment they touch that yagnopavita the spiritual power enters into that and that power would be received by the vatu that is why they ask all the elders to touch this yagnopavita and salute and bless the child so in the at the time of marriage also the same process is done to mangala sutras so this yagnopavita to the boys and mangala sutras to the girls both are same so then the father keeps the yagnopavita in a plate in front of him and says the mantras along with the brahma garu uh, like this sankalpa sri parameshwara prithyartham sri parameshwara uddishya mama kumarasya ayushya api urthyartham mama kumarasya upanayanangatvena dvija dvijatva sithyartham yagnopavita dharanam karishye i am doing this yagnopavita uh to i'm giving making my son get this yagnopavita wear by for the sake of getting dvijatva for becoming dvija so i am making my son wear this yagnopavita yagnopavita adhishthana devata apyo namo namaha jana avahanaadi shoda sopachare ki poojayami so sehi he must worship all యజ్ఞోపవీత అధిష్టాన దేవతాస్ విత్ షోడ సోపచార పూజ దెన్ వట్ ఊస్ పేరెంట్స్ హోల్డ్ ద మదర్ అండ్ ఫాదర్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ దే హెల్డ్ దే హోల్డ్ దిస్ యజ్ఞోపవీత ఇన్ బోత్ ద సైట్స్ అండ్ వెన్ ద ప్రీస్ట్ ఈస్ రిసైటింగ్ ద మంత్రాస్ వేదిక్ మంత్రాస్ విచ్ ఆర్ నీడెడ్ దెన్ దే మేక్ దిస్ యజ్ఞోపవీత over they put it over the head of the vatu uh, making his hand so uh, similarly as yagnopavita tharana muhurta sumuhurto stu like that the brahm uh, brahma garu we say priest attars and exactly at that time this yagnopavita should be put over the head then while wearing this yagnopavita the priest and father they must utter and this uh, mantra all of us know this mantra om yagnopavitam paramam pavitram prajapateer yat sahajam purastat ayushyam agriyam pratimuncha supram yagnopavitam balamastu tejaha then onwards the boy also what to should learn and whenever he is wearing the new yagnopavita he has to do certain process is there uh, this most sacred yagnopavita Uh, the sacred thread originated from god prajapati brahmadeva when 
when Brahmadeva came into existence, along with him, this Yajna Pavita also came. That gives long life by knowing that this Yajna Pavita, uh, if a person waits, he lives long. This Yajna Pavita will give strength and luster. So then Brahmadeva put the knots, then Shiva gave Shakti to it. So at that time, these three lines of thread with one knot would be there, only one knot would be there with the three uh, strings. The, uh, when the Vatu has to wear it, then at the time of marriage, two more would be added. So nine uh, threads will be there with the three knots. Now only one knot and three threads the Vatu has to wear. The Vatu should wear it lifelong, forever, with much devotion, considering this to be Goddess Gayatri Mata, Mother. This Yajna Pavita is the symbol of Dvijatva, which possesses wonderful significance, magical power, spiritual power. So, total when three knots and nine are there, Navadevatas are there, the deities, nine threads. Uh, what are the nine deities that are Atishtana Devatas of nine threads? They are Omkaraha Prathame Tantau, Dvitiye Agnis Tathaivacha, Trutiye Naga Devatvam, Chiturthi Soma Devata, Panchame Pitru Daivatvam, Shashte Chaiva Prajapatihi, Saptame Marutas Chaiva, Astame Surya Evacha, Sarve Devasu Navame, Icheta Santu Devataka. Brahmano Paditam Sutram, Vishnuna Triguni Kritam, Rudrena Dapto, Granthir Vai, Savitriacha Apimantritam, Sa Savitri Mata, she gave spiritual power to this thread, Yajna Pavita. So Chetramukha Brahmadeva created Yajna Pavita, Lord Mahavishnu tripled that threefold. Then Paramashiva Rudra put the knots, three knots. Goddess Savitri Mata gave spiritual power to it. By thinking of them, we get Icha Sikti, Jnana Sikti and Kriya Sikti. The size of Yajna Pavita should always be exactly, correctly 96 inches. Because normally the size of gods and goddesses, gods, deities are of 96 inches size. So by wearing Yajna Pavita and observing Deva Vratas, Brahma Vratas, a person becomes a deva, he gets divyatva, devatva. He can, uh, he himself can become deva. So, by having real knowledge and brahmajnana. So, this Upanayana samskara of wearing Yajna Pavita gives the worthiness of gaining that knowledge by which a person becomes brahman himself. Those three uh, on the Yajna Pavita are considered as Brahma Granthi, the three knots. Brahma Granthi, Vishnu Granthi, Rudra Granthi. They are all there in our body itself. And when in all stotras, they say breaking the uh, knots, a person should uh, uh, pass to the Sahasrara Chakra. So this Pedana Granthi, Pedana should occur by Kundalini awakening, awakening the spiritual knowledge, power. So in Nandi Samaratana, the priest asked the father of Patu to Take Sankalpa that he is doing Nandi Devata Samarathana for the longevity of his son, worships Brahmins, and then uh, he must offer cloths, Dakshinas, Tambulas, and all. As part of Upanayanam, they offer food and cloths to Brahmacharis. Minimum three, maximum nine or eleven also we can give, but odd numbers. So, along with Vatu, Vatu also should sit and eat along with the Brahmacharis. If this is called as Kumara Pojana. Uh, Vatu, uh, priest comes there, makes the Vatu uh, do Aposana, Aposana, and then eat a little and immediately takes that boy. The Vatu will not eat no, to stomach full. But all the Brahmacharis are allowed to eat uh, to their uh, heart's content. They must eat. So this Vatu would be taken uh, immediately. He takes bath again and so much. Process is there. So now, depending upon Pranta Peda, uh, sometimes they say Matra Saha Kumaram Bojayet. The boy, Vatu, should eat along with his mother. Uh, similarly, Bhaginya Saha Bojayet. 
the along with vatu his sister should sit and eat and the significance is till that time brother sisters and mother they eat even though uh, they are all eating separately sometimes they eat what is chewed by others which is star we say now onwards the boy vatu because he is getting this mantra given to him he should not eat the uchista bhojana of even mother father brother sisters anyone because whatever he is eating he is offering to gods to gayatri mata then also matra saha bhojet means not real physical mother mata is gayatri mata they say so the boy vatu is now onwards starts to eat along with gayatri mata so he should be very pious austere careful and he has to eat only satvika shuddha aakara with good pious thoughts so that prokshana uh, should be done he must learn so sitting on a wooden plank that is pitalu as we say he should eat uh, doing this gayatri mantra japa and all <laughs> so after this kumara pojana the vatu should take bath again wear diksha vastras now <clears throat> the priest makes ready um, by that time priest prepares all things the barkis water pot kurcha cloth the round stone sanikalu rai we say then danda krishna jina skindir then mekhala etc all needed items for the vatu so the boy takes bath and comes again the priest makes vatu perform agnimukha prakriya uh, so many agnikaryas worshiping while the priest is reciting mantras vatu offers into the fire and says agnaya idam namama this belongs to fire god not me so like that he must say then uh, the holy mantras uh, while uh, the vatu also if possible may try to repeat correctly without mistake then the vatu presses keeps his leg right foot on sanikallu rai uh, sanikallu stone with the intention that he must also be as strong as the top the stone which standing the dwandvas of the nature so keeping vastras first he keeps the diksha vastras on the stone he worships them later he wears them and then all this process starts now sanikallu stone uh, stepping on that is also there that is the indication of having the enduring power developing enduring power to bear cold heart uh, hunger thirst happiness sorrows miseries all dualities so he should be as strong as the stone ashmana sira pava we say the clothes are only for the mana samrakshana but not for luxurious enjoyments of life not for exhibiting our status so the vatu should wear only simple normal clothes one lower and one upper uttariya as we say so god devendra panchamaha bhuta devatas they are all being prayed by the vatu for protection brahmacharyena tapasa deva kamruchu mapagnata says atharva veda so we can stop even mrutyu by brahmacharya and tapaha penance so the munja grass grows by the favor of god indra and all other gods moon maruts and all so with that munja grass the thread is prepared and that thread they tie round the waist of vatu at the time of marriage for the girl also uh, then here they tie it to the waist of the vatu and then tie at the navel part poddu nafi as we say this munja thread removes the diseases of the body of this vatu and increases longevity and health and spirituality while sitting on the deer skin if we do penance then easily we can attain samadhi sthiti concentration comes that is why we do penance maharshis do a penance sitting on the deer skin after getting upanayana samskara to the vatu has to perform yaga kriyas agni uh, homa santal after completion of education when he enters into grihasthasrama then also he has to do several other yagas following all these also 
so wearing deer skin so that deer skin would be uh, tied to his neck uh, tied to his waist part so agnishtama atiratra aptoryama vajpeya poundarika ashramita etc several yagas the boy should do when he grows and becomes uh, and then enters into grihastha ashrama then he becomes eligible to do all these so this is the indication of yagna nirvahana that deer skin so it gives sense control also the boy becomes able to control his senses when he wears deer skin or sits on that so the priest with the chanting of veda mantra hands over the responsibility of the protection of this vatu to all the gods so many gods uh, so that he uh, this boy has to study veda vidyas so that he in future should become master and uh, spread this veda vidya teaching to lakhs of people so it should come traditionally so it is the duty of gods to protect the vatu because unless the vatu is taken care he cannot do he cannot study vedas spread the veda vijnana to the mankind which protects entire nature thus the vatu's protection is handed over to agni deva first then to prajapati chandra deva surya deva saraswati devi mrutyu devata yama dharma raja then jalathi devata varuna deva then oshathi devatas and bhumata for protection ante tu sarva mantranam hasta grahana mishyate దేవతాప్య పరిధాన రక్షణాయ పృథక్ పృథక్ సపరేట్లీ దే హ్యాండ్ ఓవర్ టు ఆల్ దీస్ గాడ్స్ వెన్ శుభ ముహూర్త ఈజ్ అప్రోచింగ్ ద ప్రీస్ టు ప్రీస్ నవగ్రహ దేవతాస్ త్రిదేవ మూర్తి జగదేక చక్షు విరించి నారాయణ శంభు రూప ప్రభాకర శోభన హేతు పూత వటు చతుర్వేద పటు కరోతు ద సోమిని మంత్రాసార్ దే వెన్ సుముహూర్త ఈజ్ అప్రోచింగ్ ద ప్రీస్ రిసైట్స్ లగ్నాష్టక స్తోత్రాస్ ఎయిట్ శ్లోకాస్ మంత్రాస్ సుముహూర్త కాలే ఆత్మన సమీప మానయతి లగ్నాష్టక పఠనం కుర్యా చూర్ణాన్ పఠిత్వా సో వైల్ రిసైటింగ్ ద ప్రీస్ట్ మేక్స్ ద ఫాదర్ అండ్ హిమ్సెల్ ఆల్సో టు కీప్ దట్ చూర్ణిక ఓవర్ ద హెడ్ అండ్ దట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ ఆస్పేషియస్ ఉప ముహూర్త so when that is the exact muhurta is very essential very powerful and at that time only the tunika should be kept on a, that should be first kept on a betel leaf and then put on the brahma rantra of the vatu that mixture of jira jagari has the power to bring anugraha of devatas it got magnetic uh, um, magnetic power attraction it removes the defects of the body it does not allow the old age to come to the body jira jila karra we say jira never allows jirnatva jara to come jara is old age na jara vidyate yasmat tasmat jira we say so always creates enthusiasm and spirit uh, to this the mind of the boy and in, it also purifies the blood the jagari so medicinal herbal power is there in jira jagari and especially with the paste when they are mixed just as when they are pow- no, powdered and then made into one they cannot be jira and jagari cannot be separated Simi- similarly in the same way when it is kept on the head the boy also gets united with the ultimate reality and he should never get separated that is the significance then at the time of marriage the wife and husband they should not get separated like this so uh, uh, they keep it on the sahasrara chakra the most important among uh, seven chakras so uh, starting from uh, the chakra the ultimate one is sahasrara so in the yoga sadhana the kundalini shakti uh, will be arise uh, awakened so from mooladhara it travels muladhara then swathishthana manipura anahata visuti agnya chakra and then sahasrara it reaches finally and in sahasrara when it touches the feet of gayatri mata or parvati parameswara jagannatha at sahasrara chakra they recite 
then that very moment the unimaginable indescribable bliss happiness it it occurs and uh, it fountain like a sort of just as fountain overflows the immense happiness bliss overflows and completely drowns the 72000 nerves of the body so the yogi becomes overwhelmed and becomes very ecstatic very bliss blissful so this sort of bliss should be enjoyed by this vatu in due course of time doing yoga sadhana and awakening kundalini so now brahmopadesha among saptakuti maha mantras gayatri mantra is the most powerful mahotkrishta mantra because in other mantras there are one or two or some bijaksharas whereas uh, or some of course this uh, panchada panchada sakshari maha mantra they say jagannatha's mantra so uh, they all letters are bijaksharas even then in gayatri mantra 24 letters are there all are bijaksharas that is why such a powerful chaturvimsha chakshara tripada gayatri it got such an immense power that they say atomic atom bomb atomic power is very powerful when thousands of atom bombs are being burst at one time what sort of magnificent unimaginable power explodes that sort of power explodes when a person sincerely with correct action with all shraddha does this gayatri mantra japa and gets a siddhi of that does this japa so gayatri mantra is so powerful whatever the person the mind of that person intends that occurs as if of the paramatma intention so at the time of mantra padesha very big cloth is covered over the heads of all uh, this were two father then um, priest three of them then this sanai madam we say the drum beats they ask them to uh, beat loudly so that the mantras uh, in uh, given to the vatu should not be heard by others and all other people who are chit chatting the world should not disturb them so among many entities uh, many events of this uh, upanayana samskara actually at the time of this mantra the vatu should hold the feet of the father and also hold the feet of the guru acharya and pray he should pray that uh, request them that savitrim ho anugruhi brahmo padesham me anugruhi like that he must request then only the priest acharya a uh, gives this mantra padesha into the ears of the father and father gives it into the ears of the right ear of the son so the father gives it to the child so this brahma padesha uh, offering gayatri mantra japa phala actually brahma padesha means till that time the father might have done lakhs of gayatri mantra japas so when that gayatri mantra japa phala exists in the father he must transmit that power into his son so that is actually brahma padesha gayatri mantra upadesha is giving this mantra whereas brahma padesha is transmitting by taking hugging the son the vatu taking and touching the heart actually with the hand he touches the heart of his son and then blessing the son keeping the uh, hand over the head when the boy is you know, holding the feet of the father the father transmits his spiritual power into him ah prajaya puya suviro virai hi suvarcha varchesa suposhah poshai with these mantras uh, the a um, boy this vatu vatu also has to repeat it three times then along with three vyakrutis that gayatri mantra would be given to this brahmachari so brahmacharya magat the boy says now one words the vatu says he has he is following the path of brahmacharya because he has become a brahmachari by getting brahmopadesha and gayatri mantra padesha then the acharya or the guru or the priest 
uh, he asked certain questions and what to replies. Later, several yagas uh, they perform. This Brahmachari conducts when the Vatu holds both the feet of uh, Acharya and the priest and requests him, Savitrim po anugruhi, then Brahmagaru preaches this Savitri mantra with the Gayatri chandas, in Gayatri chandas. Actually, the mantra is Savitri mantra, whereas chandas of that mantra is Gayatri. So, the mantra is Savitri means Savitru, the Parga Shakti, which is there in the orb of the sun, is called as Savitri. That is Savitri mantra. So the power of Parga Shakti, Savitru Shakti, enters into the one who uh, does Gayatri mantra, Japa. Parga Shakti is Panjanat Pargaha, that which completely burns the vasanas of our karmas so that we need not have to take birth again, rebirth. So we become free from Janana Marana Varayas and get Mukti, Moksha, eternity. So Saraswati, we say, uh, then again, the Vatu has to go down to Gayatri, Savitri and Saraswati. Three are the names of one goddess. Saraswati means through Sara to move, to flow. So the knowledge Saraswati river is there and Saraswati, Mata, Jnana, Ajishtana, Devata is there. That is the knowledge flows from uh, parents to children, then one generation to another generation, from gurus to sishyas. So Vasishta, Vishwamitra Maharshi is the Gayatri Mantra Drashta. So at that time of uh, Gayatri Mantra Upadesha, Specially, they bow down and do pranama and exhibit their gratitude to Vishwamitra Maharshi. Also, Saptarishis, they worship Vishwamitra, Vasista, and all other Jamadagni Maharshis and all, and get their blessings. So, it should, should not be uh, uttered by all who are not given this uh, initiation, this mantra. So, those now when this mantra is given, then onwards, it is the duty of the Vatu to do this Sanjavandana, Agnikarya, Gayatri, Mantra, Japa. He should never be lazy not for not doing this. Uh, so, now two mantras, slokas I gave, which have the same meaning. That can be done by each and everyone. That power of sun, the Parga Shikti, which is pervading Puloka, Puvarloka and Suvarloka. So, three Vyakurutis, Om Pur Puva Suvaha, they say. So, with three Vyakurutis, that mantra is given. Or with seven Vyakurutis, Bhulaka, Puvarloka, Suvarloka, Maharloka, Jenoloka, Tapoloka, Satyaloka, all these Lokas, they are the spears, they are the Vyakurutis. They are all spread with this power. So, along with them, with the Vyakurutis, mantra should be given to the Vatu. So, uh, the main meaning of this Gayatri Mantra is the Vatu. We are all requesting and praying. So, we are praying this mantra. We are praying Sun God, the Parga Shikti, which is there in Sun, to lead my mind in the correct direction, right dharmika way. So, my intellect should always work properly. So, that is the prayer. Guthim Yanaha Prechodayat. That power should provoke our Guthi. When our Guthi works properly and we travel in the right dharmic way of life, we can reach the goal. So, Panjanat Pargaha, that Parga Shakti which completely burns the Janma Janmantara Karma Doshas Vasanas, uh, that is called as the uh, Parga Shakti. So by that we uh, we are selecting Shreyo Marga and not uh, Preyo Marga. So this 24 letters Gayatri Mantra uh, is very essential and three times it should be done. Gayantam Trayataiti Gayatri we say because that mantra got the power to protect those who uh, do japa of that mantra which protects them when it is being recited. Na Gayatriya Param Mantram Na Matu Paradevata. That is, 
there is no other mantra which is equivalent to gayatri there is no other god is more than mother e equivalent to mother mother is more than god in fact swadhinam samati kramya mataram pitaram gurum said ramachandra so as soon as the upanayana is celebrated then onwards the vatu should start to, to do gayatri mantra japa and those who got this upadesha done uh, this mantra is given they start doing this japa and that japa phala protects the entire universe they say so after doing sancha vandana and gayatri mantra japa they do any other japa any other mantras which are given to them and also they say mandeha rakshasa says certain demons rakshasa are there who always want to uh, overpower and disturb and do harm to sun god means wisdom knowledge so when a vatu or a person a brahmin does sancha vandana does gayatri mantra japa and pours that water the sprinkles are offers are pours then these waters sprinkled on the mande parakshasas they become weak and they go away to a far off distance then the sun can shine and do his work by the time again they recollect their strength and the mande parakshasas try to come and overpower sun again people do they that is why three times they have to do sancha vandana and pour the sprinkle water so that we should take care of the orb of sun and the savitru shakti from the power of this mande parakshasas they say so when this chaturvimsha chakshara gayatri is recited properly with proper accent then the shabda prakampanas uh, make very lustrous the body mind and a spirit the soul the jiva of the sadhaka and he enjoys the eternal bliss alaukika ananda anubhuti so such a person recognizes realizes himself atma vit he becomes atma vit atma ve uh, atma gnana van we say smriti mata says gayatrim chandasam mata stuta maya varada veda mata veda vedas and all smriti granthas praise the greatness of and mahima of gayatri mantra in several ways manu smriti said tripya evatu devepyah tripya evatu vedepyah padam padam ududuhat etad aksharam etam cha japan vyakruti purvakam sanchayur veda vipra veda vid veda vit vipraka veda punyena yujyate three padas of gayatri mantra are the essence of three vedas rugyaj sama and atharvana veda also the sam ruks yajus and samas of four vedas so this is very powerful na gayatriya paro mantra ha vise so such mantra samasta sapta tantu pyo जप यज्ञ परम स्मृत हिंसया अन्े प्रवर्त जप यो न हिंसया तस्मा जप सदा श्रेष्ठ सर्व्य साधना जप पर संख्या भक्तिया उपासीत यो द्विज निमेन सदा गेत ऋषि नात्र संशय दिसंग ऑल यज्ञ जप यज्ञ ईज द बेस्ट बिकॉज in all other yagnas uh, himsa may be there but for japa yagna uh, such a thing is not there so only doing japa this is the best and most so gayatri mantra it also starts with tat tat savitur vare enyam dese vare enyam also so tat that means that that always tat pada always indicates the अनिर्वचनीय परब्रह्म तत्व सो उपनिषेत्स एंड वेदा दे अटर्ड ब्रह्म वित् तत्व पद गायत्री मंत्र स्पीक्स अबउट परब्रह्म द ट्रांसेंडेंटल अल्टिमेट रियालीटी विच इज अंतरियामी ऑफ दिस होल यूनिवर्स सो तत्व इट स्टार्ट विथ द वर्ड तत्व सह सा तत्व दीज थ्री आर द मैस्कुल फेमिन यूथर nominative that is prathama vipakti ekavachana rupa sa 
Tadshabda, Tadshabda. So the whole universe is being prevailed by this power. So the Sanchavandana Upasana uh, removes all the sins and it burns physical, mental illnesses. And then Athi Vyathis will never approach such a person who is doing Japa, then Raga and Moha. I and mine, Ahankara, Mamakaras, also will not disturb such a pious person. So this Sanchavandana Arathana is very important. Saraputas to Vedanam, Guhyo Upanishadho Mataka, Tapya Saras to Gayatri, Tisru Vyakurta Yes Tatha, Gayatri Veda Janani, Gayatri Papa Nashini, Gayatri Astu Paran Nasti, Divicha Ikacha Pavanam, Divicha Ikacha Pavanam, Gayatri Mahamantra is the essence of Vedas and Upanishads. By the Arathana of Gayatri, one gets Karya Safalya, Parakrama, Yoga, Ghanata, Jnana, Tejas, Rakshana, Thi Shikti, Dharmanishta, Dharana Shikti, Jnana, Spurana, then Sputatva, Jagruti, Sakasa, Dura Darshitva, then Viveka, Niranjanatva. So many qualities are given. They are all op being obtained by doing this Gayatri Mantra Japa. So Vishwamitra Maharshi is the drashta of Gayatri Mantra. So Gayatri Mantra is prayed with the shloka, Mukta Vidruma Hemanila, which we already did. So the priest, while narrating and reciting the uh, uh, mantras as per the Sandarpa, the Vatu uh, also he holds Palasadanda, the stem of Palasya tree, which is the symbol of Jnana. Once all the gods come under uh, a Moduga tree, which, uh, it is a story given in the uh, Vedas. So the Palasya Vruksha under the tree, they sat and started to discuss about Brahman, Brahma Jnana. So Parabrahma Tattva they discussed. So this Palasya Moduga tree also she heard this Brahmatva and so that Vruksha also obtained Brahma Shakti, Brahmi Shakti. So the tree is called as Sushravaka. Very well heard. It listened. So then onwards became pious Samitha. Uh, the Samitha to be offered into the fire at the time of Yajnas and Yagas. So that branch of the tree would be taken as Palasha Danda and given to this Vatu. So that, that is the symbol. The Vatu also prays. He says Sushravaka. Susrevasam Mam Kuru. He holds that Palasadanda and prays that salutes and prays, O Palasatri, O Goddess of Palasatri, you belong to gods. You have learnt Brahma Jnana. So just as you have received the essence of Vedas, you please make me also eligible to receive Brahma Jnana, the knowledge of Vedas, like that he prays. Throughout his Brahmacharya Vrata Diksha Kala, Brahmachari must hold must, uh, this Palasha branch in his hand with the firm intention that he would be as strong as this stick. Then Brahmins hold Moduga Danda. Moduga Danda, we say. Palasha only. So Kshetriyas uh, hold branch of Bani and Tree, Mari Chetu. Then Vaishyas hold Medi, Medi Chetu. All are divine trees. Then Pala Sedando Brahmanasya, Nayagrothas uh, Skantha Jaka, Avan Yagro, Avan Yagrotho uh, Rajanyasya, Badara Audumbarova Vaishyasya. So now the Vatu Brahmachari should give a party of milky cow with calf to the priest Acharya as Guru Dakshina. Now the cow is directly the form of three crores of devatas. Mukoti devatas reside in the body of cow. So offering cow with the calf is to offer the entire world, nature, universe. So that is equal to all gods. And then cow is the uh, life giver to all living beings. So the priest, after taking this godana as dakshina, should recite to Omkara for 17 times. Acharyaha saptadasya krutva upasya places the Vatu to live long with knowledge. Then, uh, still uh, a few points are there. It may take another uh, 15, uh, 
minutes at least. Shall I continue or stop and tell tomorrow? Let us continue tomorrow. Okay. From Surya Pastana, we must do. Because still uh, the Matri picture and all have not yet come. So this Surya Pastana mantras and then, okay, tomorrow we will do. We will complete tomorrow. Let us continue because time is over. It's okay. Okay. Let us stop here. First thing. Dhaniyavadam, Landi. Now, uh, let us request... Uh, Saradagaru to chant Prarthana or uh, her daughter Swastika. Satvika. Satvika. Satvika, please uh, chant Prarthana. Okay. Hari Yom. Please go. Swasti Rajabhya. Paripala yantam, Yayena margena, Mahi Mahisha, Go Brahmanebya, Subhamastu Nityam, Loka Samasta, Sukhino Bhavantu, Kale Varshatu Parjanya, Prutivi Sasya Salini, Desho Yam Shobarahito, Brahmana Santu Nirbaya, Aputra Putrina Santu, Putrina Santu Pautrinaha, Adhana sadhana santu jivantu saradam satam satyam vada dharmam chara swadhyayanma pramadaha sarve bhavantu sukhinaha sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu makaschit dukkha bhag bhavet om shanti 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 hi Purna Mada, Purna Midam, Purna Purna Mudachate, Purna Sya Purna Madaya, Purna Meva Vashishate, Om Shanti 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 Hi, Sarve Jana Sukhino Bhavantu Swasti. Okay, Dhanyavadaha, good. Now, uh, let us uh, go for... Uh, Janagana Mana, all of you please stand up. Tala Chiti Babu Garu, are you there? Janaganamana Adhinayaka Jayahi Bharata Bhajya Vidhata Punjabu Sindhu Gujaratha Maratha Dravida Vutkara Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Gala Vitaranga Tava Subha Nami Jage, Tava Subha Shisha Mage, Kahi Tava Jaya Gadha, Jana Gana Mangala Dayaka Jaya Hi Bharata Bhagya Vidhata, Jaya Hi, Jaya Hi, Jaya Hi. Jaya 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 He Jaya Dhaniwadam Lu everybody for uh, attending the session. Thanks Andy Vishalakshwaru. Dhaniwadam.